But here's the question. What the fuck do you do in this music industry when you want to get money out of it? <laughs> when you want to get money out of it? <laughs> yeah. No. Just talk. What the yeah, fuck? You got really a told in. Again, man, we back for another hour. You know what I'm saying? We about to do it again with the boy Cetarello. You know what I'm saying? Right up, right up. Showstopper. Motherfucking MVP. You know what I'm saying? Indeed. Apple was yeah, fine. Yeah. Ooh, look at them trophies, dog. Look you saying? <laughs> just a few. You got them boys yeah. up there, huh? Yeah, just a few. You know, a couple are missing, you know, but it's all good. Shout out to uh, Lady AT and uh, uh, Wody Hendrix, you know what I'm saying? A couple that got away. That's all good, though. Hey, what do you say? What do you say to the person? <laughs> Or to the people to be like, man, fuck them trophies, dog. Them trophies ain't shit. <laughs> what I say to them? Shit. I mean, it's all about competition, you know. And uh, you can see as the line up back there for a person it's that ain't doing word. that, for people that sitting on their ass and just always judging. I say, fuck them all. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, simple words, motherfucker. Hit you with that one and say some shit like that. All you gotta do is simply reply, "You ain't got them. You ain't got them. That's it. You know what you I'm ain't saying? Got em. Just like dollars in the pocket. If you ain't got it, you ain't got it. Keep your mouth closed. That's all I can say. You ain't got them. keep it one. <laughs> yeah, for sure. One thing I love about uh, Rello, man. Is he not really confrontational? Even though you, if you want a nigga want to take you there, I don't think he, a nigga can handle it. But you ain't really for all that shit. But at the same time, you bring the lion up. every time, though. You bring that shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I just love his music, man. That's right. I love, I love his music. I got the love for it. it. It don't even matter. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got time for nothing else. All that beefing and all that drama shit be going on. Say hell with me, you know what I'm saying? I ain't got time for the bullshit. I just, I just love hitting the stage, you know what I'm saying? Every time you see me walk in the venue and I'm performing or something, it's just like Apollo to me. I always got to touch the stage. Let me rub the stage a little bit, you feel me? That's my thing, man. I love How being on the stage. How long you been into I get into it? How long you been into it? Woo! You About been two decades now. I just love doing music. <laughs> I've been, you know what I'm saying? I've been rapping since, man, school. You know what I'm saying? It's in yeah. my music. Uh, beating on the lunchroom tables and shit with the brushes and all that. We was in the lunchroom getting it, man. I, I got a love for music. I always, I had a passion for music ever since I was in elementary school. Right, I feel you. I feel you. I probably even started off uh, singing a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Trying to hit some high notes. After I got the, I got the smoke and all that went out the window. You feel me? I got a question though, because even with that said though, right? Because there's so many artists out here right now that rap that actually can sing their ass off. Yeah. You think some of these people need to get to singing, man, and lay up off some of this rap? Or even make a mix it, it's, but I'm saying though, like, we need to bring some singing out. It's it's 50-50. You know what I'm saying? That's just like me myself. Even though I love rapping, you know, and all that, and I used to love singing, but I can't sing like I used to no more. So I just rather stick to rapping. And when you hear right. me on a couple songs, I try to harmonize or hit it with a little auto tune or something. It's just a vibe, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. And at this this day and age, it, it really it really don't matter because people just getting on the track and singing anyway. I'm just uh that's a shout out to the younger generation. You know what I'm saying? They ain't even got to sing. They harmonizing. They doing what they do. If they talking about the right shit, people gonna love it. You ain't even gotta sing no more. It is kind of like a new style of music out here. Like they basically is mixing that together. They do sound like they trying to sing and rap all in yeah. that <laughs> Ain't no harmonizing and hitting high notes. Ain't none of that no more. Right. Hey, I gotta give a big shout out to you, man, because you know, ever since I met you, Rello, you know what I'm saying, you take this rap shit serious, and it just seems like Everybody don't take it serious, dog. Talk about that for a minute, like, 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 what? Why you take it so serious versus the next motherfucker? I mean, we all struggling. Yeah, we we all struggling, man. I take it serious because it's a it's another way out for me. You know what I'm saying? It's another outlet, something to do, whether I'm writing or in the studio. You know what I'm saying? Because 
A lot of people don't know my story, you know what I'm saying? Cedarello, that's me all day, but I'm a street, I'm a street cat, a businessman and a family man, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, don't play with me and don't cross me. So therefore, I got to, a lot of stuff I got to take out on the music because I value my life and my freedom now as I'm getting older, you know what I'm saying? So what? instead of me going to smacking a nigga or just dropping niggas and all that type of shit, or putting my hands on a female, I'd rather just get in the studio and just have that outlet, you know what I'm saying, to release that anger. So that's what it is to me, and I take it serious. Like, as far as I love the competition, whether I win or lose, and you see that, you know what I'm saying, like my first show or whatnot, you know what I'm saying, when I went up for the trophy, I didn't win, but I kept coming back. So it's all about the competition and the heart for music, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And like I tell people, I don't care if I'm performing in front of two people, 2,000 to 2 million people. I just love performing, man. I love being on the stage, and I love doing the music that I like to do. I don't care what nobody else doing it. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to give you my back. And if you don't like it, it's 50-50. People going to like you. People going to hate you. So it's 50-50 with me. But I take it serious because of that, man. I take it serious yeah. because half the stuff that I rap about is my life or stuff that I don't been through. So it is serious. serious. Right, I be hearing your shit. And you got some good ass music. I can't really call no song off head on title. Pretty, and all pretty that stuff. Yeah, you know, what I'm saying? but like you know, what I'm saying the diabetic rapper <laughs> and all that other stuff. And I've heard some of your other stuff on some of your collabs with some of the other fellas. And it's like, yeah. oh yeah, you go hard. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and and a lot of it, like I say, be honestly, it be true, bar from bar. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people. They be fabricating, you know what I'm saying? This, that, and the other, and I don't do too much of that. You know what I'm saying? A lot of stuff that yeah. you hear me rapping and come out of my mouth, you know what I'm saying? It's true, bar from bar. There's plenty of songs that I could sit up there, I could let somebody listen to it for the first time, and I, I be chilly my own music. <laughs> like, yeah, true, true, true. Every bar, I'm be like, yeah, that bar right How there, that's real, library. that's fat. You know what I'm saying? How deep so that's what it's about. You got a lot of songs, a lot, a lot of them. Yeah. You got hell of a lot. Out of all favorite? that, do you ever call? Can you call a song, a certain song, your favorite? Is it that part where, like, you keep making something else that can turn into the new fade? Yeah, you know, I think my favorite now, out of all of my songs, it got to be Type Two. Type Two got to be Type Two. I'm a diabetic gangster. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. And like, and, and, and yeah. once again, I ain't, I ain't no gimmick rapper. You know what I'm saying? I'm from the street. And I've been a gangster since I was a youngin', man. I've been a gangster. Then years ago, when I found out I was a diabetic, I just put two and two together. You know what I'm saying? Diabetic gangster. So that's what it is. Right. Exactly. And type right. two, like I say, some of the sickest shit you're going to hear. You know what I'm saying? That's how I come about. <laughs> right. Crafty, huh? Say, get clever with it. Mm -hmm. That's what's up. Shit, you over there working on something, huh? Tell you the truth, I got some heat. You know what I'm saying? I've been kind of since the uh since the lockdown. I really been chilling. I ain't really been doing too much music or whatnot. You know, I give people their fair shot because I've been waiting on the heavy here to show the hit. You know what I'm saying? I got right. some heat. I want to bring to that new show. So I've been getting everybody a chance. I ain't been working on music every day or practicing and doing all that. I'm gonna wait till the week of going to the studio the night before. See? That'd be hey, me, man. man. But yeah, I'm, I'm hey, definitely man. working on some new music and uh, probably some uh, new visuals. Probably drop some new videos after all this over. You know what I'm saying? Right. Shit. Hey, where Mo go? Like, uh, when he, when you go drop that heavy hitter, man? Uh, where did he go? <laughs> <That's all in. laughs> no, he might probably have to get back on this bitch or something. Oh yeah, yeah. Heavy hitters. It's supposed to been uh, it's supposed to been this month. It's supposed to be this week, actually. But, right. You know, since the lockdown, we had to push it back or whatnot. I mean, it's all fair. You know what I'm saying? Okay. After this over, we can get back to it. The main thing is staying out the way, staying safe, man. Hey, man, you know? how that road schedule looking, though, man? Is we getting some stuff lined up to get the hell up on that road? Or, uh, you yeah, know what I'm saying? I'm some local shit right now. Y'all know how I am. I'm always yeah, ready, man. Yeah, rather my, my pocket's ready or not, you know, I'm always ready. I'm always trying to get out on that road and hit any stage I can, you know. Yeah, I'm trying to hit track. any show out of town, all the tour dates, all that, man. Diabetic gangster, man. Like, I'm putting my time into this craft now, which I wasn't doing before. Like, I spent so much time before.
Oh, like balance your life, man. Being a working man, you know what I'm saying, and all that type, just constantly working, man, and two jobs and this and that. And a lot of us artists got to go through that. You know what I'm saying? Ain't none of this shit cheap, man. Studio time, video, whatever yeah, you do, or being out on the road. You still your plate until you get the, get the real product, the real reward out of what you're doing, right? You still got yeah, to man, but now I'm trying to dedicate all my time to this music, man. Yeah. You know so what I'm nice. saying? Because as far as me, like, I ain't, I ain't trying to be on the stage forever. You know what I'm saying? So I'm giving it my all now on this last run. Like, you know what I'm saying? I feel like this is the last run to be doing all this right here. After this, it's, it's straight CEO status. You feel me? Right. I was going to say, would you uh, consider grooming a, uh, another young artist? Like, if you had a young artist, would you consider grooming a young artist? You know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm, I'm always doing that. I've been doing that since I've been a young artist. You know what I'm saying? It's just the yeah. dedication behind people. Like, what they want to do and how far they willing to go. Because, like I said, <laughs> A lot of people don't know as far as me. I mean, I don't have to switch up a few times. I've been in this game long enough. Yeah, I don't yeah. have the, the label and the producer switch up. You know what I'm saying? Even the name change in the game. But I've been doing this since a youngin, and I've been trying to bring people with me. Like, you know, we don't have songs on radio stations, all the videos and all the shows. and all. It's all about the dedication from an artist. Because I don't see people, like, be scared to get on stage. I'm Brought you to a big venue, a sellout concert, and you know you're scared to get on stage. See, I, I'm still yeah. gonna rock out and do what I gotta do regardless, even if well, I gotta get, do your part. Five like, harmonies, my favorite movie. Right. Hey, I wrote this in five part harmony, but hey, if they ain't there, we gonna finish it anyway. You feel me? Right, right, right. Bro, bro, right. back. Hey, man, we was talking about that heavy hitter show, man. Yeah, I was checking y'all out, man. I'm having some, uh, my my computer keep jumping off the internet for some fucking reason, man. Every like every time you get something new, you got to buy something new, dog. This shit crazy, dog. Yeah, that's how it is, man. You no, know, it's all a hustle, dog. I might have to buy yeah. me a computer just for this shit right here, dude. Hey. Yeah, working my work. Uh, yeah, as far as uh, the heavy hitters, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know it's still gonna be a show. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to John Drama and the Promo Association. You know what I'm saying? Still gonna be a show. I'm waiting on. Wait till the smoke clear. You know what I'm saying? Of course, yep. It's gonna be huge because motherfuckers been in the house, so motherfuckers go show. Motherfuckers hey, you got this live or something? Is it on your live or something? Yeah, it's live on my page. It's live on your page. Yeah. All right, Pick it up. Cause I'm trying to figure out how I, could, I was trying to see if I could have put it live, but if I hit off it, this bitch is gonna take me off. Yeah. yeah, that's love too, man. Like I say, I be having people tuned in, you know what I'm saying? Sharing and you know what I'm saying? Watching the lives and then being tuned in, like every chance they get, you know what I'm saying? And I feel like that's love. And that's love enough for me, man. Like if, if I got two fans, two thousand, two million fans, it don't matter, man. We rocking for whoever gonna tune in and tap in with it. That's it. For sure, man. I, I wanna salute you, man, because uh to me, I'd have been in the studio with you. And yeah. to me, I still don't believe you be freestyling, bro. Yeah, I mean, it's 50-50, it's, it's you know what I'm saying? It's just the point of, like I was telling my young the other day, like, you got to have control over your flow. But once you can control that flow, you can lay it how you want to. That's why I work how I do, you know what I'm saying? I, a lot of times it might be a freestyle, but a lot of times I might – just pack it all in my head on my way to the studio. Like listening to the beat like uh, if y'all ever heard when I was broke. I got off work one night. I bought a beat on my way to the studio. You know everybody doing the cash app. They send the money over. I bought a beat on my way to the studio. And from my job to the studio, I made this whole song. You know what I'm saying? Right. It just worked like that. Because my thing is, like, if you're working on a song and you want to change something up, you gonna keep erasing that shit. So I just work on it from bar to bar. Like once I, if you send me a beat right now, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna be like, okay, I'm gonna do the first four bars. And I could do that before I leave the studio or before I get to your house, I had a whole song finished. Because once I get them first four bars there, like the rest is, you know what I'm saying, from there. Hey, and it's dog. just about, it's about painting the picture from there, man. Hey, dog, so then, know. then on top of that, after I after I lay the track, then that's when I write. Then I go to the notepad and the notebook. Like, let, let me write it down so we could document it like that. You know what I'm saying? 
Hey, dog. Uh, talk about this one right here, dog. This is one of my favorites now. What's that? Rella, Rella. Damn. Yeah. We're gonna rock out I had to get minute. my bands up. We're going to rock out for a minute. Okay. Hey. Munchy bands up. Turn up. I was worried about it. I had to get my bands up. I had to get my bands up. Hey yo, my dog. Focus. I really need focus. I had to get my bands up. You can't. You got to focus on money. I'll be going in on this one, bro. Good looking. And I'm already rocking it like a new bag. Like, huh? Yeah. Like, yeah. Call a shit here, blue magic. In the kitchen, whipping up the extra things that I really do. Me? Call up my plug like hello, senor. Speaking in the cold, like popping me more. Fidelis and hustling, and that's it all. You know what I'm saying? Switch the language up on. Yeah. But you talking plans, I'm off of the phone. Saying, I'm talking to code. Ben, calling my phone. Ben, Ben, putting her on. Rella, Rella. I had to get my bands up. I had to get my bands up. Hey. Hey. I ain't just focused. I'm getting my business. I'm getting my business. Hey. Yeah. That's straight back. Straight back, baby. Bands really did blow through 30 bands. Hey, man, dog. And it's crazy because, you know, I know bands through you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So to see bands where he was first at, yeah. where he at, nobody can't tell me this platform don't work, dog. You know what I'm it saying? Worked, you know? It worked, man. It worked. Yeah. Bands, man, he been coming over here putting that work. And, you know, yeah, I, I believe you. I believe he I always this. he always had that wet floor and dry, man. I was just trying to. You know what I'm saying? Motivate them more than what we was doing, trying to get up out these streets. You know what I'm saying? Because with that much talent, you can't sit on. You can't no. sit on. And I wasn't trying to. I wasn't trying to cap nobody. You know what I'm saying? Holding nothing over nobody head, man. I just be out here grinding, like. And my main thing is, you can hear it in that song. Majority, I can't even say majority of like that whole song, like all facts. For my two verses, even the shit he was talking about, like. Bands really did blow through 30 bands, you know what I'm saying? Right. Then you gotta watch the family and all that shit true, man. Right. And in the sex, the second verse. The second verse is like me getting back into music. Like that's all what I was rapping about. Moving east to the west. I had to get my bands up. You know what I'm saying? All the shit I've been through when I got locked up, I was sitting right. like it fucked all my plans up. Now people saying what happened. Like, damn, you was the man, bro. Hey, I just started back rapping. Only because of Mo Divine, though. I just started back rapping. Now I'm trying to get my fans up. It's facts, bro. It's facts. Hey. Bro, if it wasn't for you, I, hey, man, bro. I'm speaking straight back. Bro, if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't even probably be rapping right now. We wouldn't even be seeing all this. I mean, I would, but I wouldn't be putting music out because that's what I was doing back then when we had linked up. You know what I'm saying? I was rapping, making music, but I wasn't trying to put no music right. out. Let's say I got sound to nation, you know what I'm saying? I'm with court, like, all right, right. I'm gonna send some music. Man, I tell this story anytime right. or when somebody asks me about you, man, like that's how I really got back into music, man. And I'm gonna speak on it again. Like when we linked up and you told me you had the show and all that, what I end up doing. I end up going to D night, dropping a couple songs, and I was sending you a song every chance I get. So when we come out the studio with D night, let me shoot it the mo. Let me shoot it the mo. That's what I was on. Then when Sound Two Nation came on with three to four every day, you know what I'm saying? I had my speakers, had my two little speakers, you know what I'm saying? Had my little receiver. I had the whole system. I sit there for a whole hour 
with my blunts rolled up and everything, listening to Sound Two Nation smoke. Dedication, man. A lot of motherfuckers, a lot of niggas ain't got that dedication. You know what I'm saying? And that's yeah. what it's about when you say tune in or tap in. You feel me? Yeah. Right. And that's what we need. That's what we yeah. need. Me and you and and TTB. We need that support. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I mean, that's why I say it's my station, your station, our station. It's all of ours together, man. And yeah. we support yeah. each other, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, you know, I want to speak on the fact that, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, since we've been connected, every move I made, you was right yeah. there, bro. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, man. Hey. Out of town trips and everything, you know what I'm saying? Out of right town, there, all that, all that, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna be there, man. You see these trophies, man? You see these hey. trophies? You see them? I, I gotta give you a shout out on them trophies, dog. I gotta give you a shout out on them trophies because nobody understands how, how many you got there. Feel. How many I got? <laughs> it's about a good, probably about a ten piece up here. Like I say. Then we got a couple that got away, you know what I'm saying? Oh, you've been shutting some shit down on there. <laughs> yeah, shit. You know, I got Showstop oh, you know Detroit Awards, the Black uh, yeah. Black Music Awards, True Emotion right. Awards, right, man. Right. Hey, man, we grind. We Detroit. Grind. Thing, now, I'm going to tell you something. To... I'm going to tell y'all, hold on, let me tell y'all this exclusive piece right here, man. Now, I would have had more. I ain't going to lie. I think I would have had more. See, uh... Well, well, who you call, Mr. Showstopper? You know what I'm saying, Chaz? Chaz, Chaz, Chaz. He, he been shutting some shit down. He was, hey, he got some good music. Chaz he, got some good music. And he got about 100 plaques and trophies, and I tried to reach out to him, and I tried to reach out to his people. I say, where the next show at? Where the next show? I went to competition. When did nobody right. tell me, when nobody want to tell me where his next show was, because I was showing on his head. If you was going yeah. to perform, I was going to perform too. That's how I hey. feel about it. You feel me? Because see, like Chaz, man, that his hey, music. Have, have you ever? Uh, music, uh, have... He got that music that make you just like feel like damn. Now, it's ahead, that bad. In the air. That that bad, man. That's true. Straight good I got, energy. I got some vibes in music too, though. I ain't hating on nobody. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, he he got hey, that style bro. though. Right? Yeah. Did you, did you uh? Did you ever? Have you ever been in a show in one of my shows that Chaz won? Uh, I don't think so. I I don't think so. Ain't no telling because I think uh when he when he won a couple from Showstoppers, I think I was out in Vegas then. You know, I, okay. All well, right. that's when I moved out to Vegas. I was missing a lot of the first Showstoppers. Did you go to Philly with us? I think you'll probably go no, on more. I ain't going to feel it. You probably can see it on his okay. page. Yeah, yeah, I ain't going to feel it. And like I was saying, man, you know what I'm saying? I don't think nobody really understands how it make me feel yeah. when I walk into the people's yeah. houses and I yeah. see them trophies. A lot of times I don't even be thinking about them until I see them. Like, wow. You know what I mean? Yeah. 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 And, yeah uh, like, you that's know, I'm a different it, man. Right. That's why yeah. I do it, man. I just want, I wanted, I wanted the artist to feel like Maybe they did something that night, if nothing else. You feel what I'm saying? Hey, hey Mo, you say you live on your page, right? Yeah. On your page? I'm we live, live Yeah, because I don't see it over here. My man's trying to go on there live and check it out on his live. Yeah, see, check on, something on, on another page. Yeah, I'm on Motivine Moore's page, live. So what's up? What what, what's, 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 what's up? What you, got, what you got planned next? Man, that's what oh, I man. Ooh, what I got playing next, man. I got everything playing next. I ain't even gonna lie to you. Uh after this over, man, I gotta drop this video, this uh watch me video with all the kids. So any all the kids that can dance and all that, I'm doing a whole video dedicated to the kids, you know what I'm saying? Let them get their little dance on, that one little dance song I did. See, that's the thing about Rello, like I say, I'm I ain't no average Detroit artist, and I'm going to say this. I could have been, you know what I'm saying? Because I grew up in Cheddar Boy area. I'm from the east side. A lot of people don't know, even though I'm always on the west, move to the west, all that. You know what I'm saying? I'm from the east side, man. You know what I'm saying? Cheddar Boy is my family. You know what I'm saying? I was just talking to Cheddar Red the other day. Like, he got a couple projects coming out, you know what I'm saying? Pretty deep round about don't lay back, but, 
You know what I'm saying? That's where I come from. And that's where all that metaphoric rap and shit come from. I ain't never wanted to do that because I seen them doing it so much. You know what I'm saying? That's what everybody was on, on the metaphorically rapping and shit. And I just want to do something different. I like ripping and rhyming. So, so with me, I like to make it a lot of different types of music. So now that's why you got the tracks coming out with uh with the kids, the watching, the dance videos. If it's up to me, I'm going to rap off anything. You're going to see me on some country shit. I got a... Uh, Hey, shout out to all my people that cook too. You know what I'm saying? I want to do a blues and barbecue event. You know what I'm saying? I got a couple of people on the blues tip. Like, I mess with all type of music, man. So I got a hustle coming out too. It's cool. Hey, I like that blues music. Ooh. I would like to tamper with that. I would like to endeavor into some blues music just to even give yeah. it a shot. Yeah, blues and barbecue. That's yeah. what I'm on, man. Laid back. It ain't always about rap. See, that's yeah. why I'm saying so many genes of music are out here. Like, I'm trying to touch it all, man, because I love music. Just make sure uh, whenever you drop that uh, dance track for the kids, just make sure the sister girl's there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you know it. You know they, you know, they up front with it, man. Exactly. Right. All the kids. I'm giving them solos and everything. Right. Hey, for the so, people who don't know, man, who, who, who really don't know Cinderella, uh, you are one of uh, Elmo Will's fighters. And another reason why I fuck with you, Rello, is because your dedication, bro. You dedicated, man. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Nobody can't tell you, can't, nobody can't talk you off your dedication. You can't, not at all, man. I'm speaking on dedication. I'm, I'm still on water, bro. This going, it's going on four years. Four years, I've been drinking water straight. No okay. pop, no juice, no liquor, no beer, no milk, nothing. Straight water, bro. I need to get on that. That's what I need to do. That shit hard. Where this come from. This yeah, ain't hard. Come from. I I you doing it, though. Hey, clean and pure, man. I'm just, you know what I'm saying, being a diabetic and all that, man, just working on health now. Because as we get older, like, all that shit to catch up with you. That's what I tell my youngest now, man. All that is the, the way you eat, you know what I'm saying? The way you drink, the way you out here living reckless, man. That shit catch up with you. Like I've been wild since a youngin', man. I've been out here tearing up the streets and tearing up my body at the same time. So now I'm getting older. I want to take better care of myself. You know what I'm saying? So that was my whole thing going on the water kick, man. I was drinking too much pop. You know what I'm saying? All that Kool Aid and liquor and shit, man. That shit has shut you down, man. It has shut you down and it slow you down. Yeah, all that slug, that sugar will slug you. Yeah. yeah. Damn, one much thing for was show, One thing for sure. One thing for sure is you care about yourself because whatever was wrong with you, you got the word that you needed to change, and you made yeah. them significant changes. Yeah. Because a lot of people so, you know they need to change and don't change. Hey, man, it was too much partying, bro. Too much partying, man. I'm talking about loud and Hennessy every day, man. Fits and hang up. Like I used to drink a lot. People, you'll be surprised. Like, oh, you ain't you don't drink. You be in the club, you be lame and all that. That's me, man. I don't, I don't want to drink to have fun. You know, I don't knock nobody else, but like I say, when it's a point that you have to know mentally when enough is enough. Right. So, so that's where I'm at with it, man. Right. Everybody got a limit. You got to know that motherfucker, or you gonna fuck around and you gonna learn it the bad way. That shit gonna slow you down, man. Then I learned yeah. I learned from it personally because, you know what I'm saying, my pops was a pro alcoholic, you feel me? So he don't have two heart attacks and nine strokes. So, hey, right. that shit slows you up, bro. For sure, for sure. So, look, this is what I want you to do. Tell me somebody that you met through Sound Tube Nation that you fuck with heavy. Damn, they're everybody. Everybody, you know what I'm saying? Who who I don't fuck with. See, that's the thing. Everybody that's on Sound Two Nation, I fuck with, man. I don't yeah, beef with nobody. Sad. Even though everybody be beefing with each other. I mean, from whoever bruised the smoke, the whoever, man, whoever got a song that played on Sound Two Nation, I fuck with. Cause you know why? Yeah. Once again, I was dedicated. I was listening to your show every day. Then I, I went over doing that. Right. What I was doing. I was screenshotting shit. I was sending, hey, right. you ain't hear you on? I send it to you. Hey, motivate playing your shit right now. Or whatever right. and shit. Like I fuck with everybody, bro. 
I like the part where I get to be a new fan to all the music. You know what I mean? Like all the music that I be hearing out of the folders and stuff that you just shot over there on the computer and everything that I be playing through, and down yeah. to the music that I got out of the uh, SoundCloud room from the people that email me music. And anybody email me music, I play that shit. And it's like I, I like just being a new fan of the music. Yeah, right. Just like, just like Henry was saying, all that, uh, like the Panda mixes that you was playing, I was up on all that. Like all that shit was fire, man. You know what I'm saying? That's why I say I can't even really name. So that's why I say everybody, bro. Everybody yeah. that fuck with Sound Two Nation, I fuck with them, hands yeah, down. That's real. That same way with anybody out the world. You know what I'm saying? Oh, like bro. I fuck with everybody. Hey, I want, uh, I want to give a shout out to all the artists. I mean. All the artists that that spin that music on SoundTube, make sure to fuck with SoundTube, make sure because y'all the reason I tell y'all all the time, y'all the reason why I do this. And I mean, after yeah. I left Core Radio, I felt some kind of way about the internet radio. But the fact is, y'all keep making new music, and that's what makes the show go right. and keep going. Is the fact that y'all keep making new music, man. And this is the platform for all that new music, man. So salute to all the artists. This is working, dropping that music. They keeping us going, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's real, man. I used to love New Music Monday. That was my favorite part of the week, man. That was my right. favorite part of the week. I used to try to be in the studio every weekend. I got to get a new track in. You know what I'm saying? If I didn't, I'd be mad. And I didn't make every Monday because you know, like that cat always busy or something. Twenty in the morning. That New Music Monday was fire, man. Hell yeah, yeah, I used to do, yeah, new music Monday like a motherfucker, yeah. And then hey, just and top ten, like, and top ten. That's another thing that motivated me more than anything. You know what I'm saying on that top ten? Because it was like what the first round of top ten. I, I don't even think I, if I made the list or the bottom of the list, or whatever. But I had to come harder the next time. Then that one I came hard with. We, we went and made a song called Top This. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And you did, you did. I mean, that's what and that made top team. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's what that's the one thing I can appreciate out of artists like you is that when you didn't win, you ain't trip, you ain't talk shit, you ain't get mad, you just kept coming. So you just went back smoke yeah, fire, like, oh no, I got your ass. I'm gonna play. I got something else for you. Yeah, that's what you're supposed coming. to do. Yeah, that's what uh, you're you supposed know, to do, man. And I've been saying more. The fact that, like, man, you know, the part, like, I'm not a musician. And Rello, like you say, shouts out to you, brother. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like you saying, you keep on rocking, keep doing what you're doing. Mm-hmm. But me, I picked this shit up a little late in the game just as something to do. And I really love it. It don't and, matter. Like, That's what it's about. When I was down there with you and you was, you know what I'm saying, doing your engineering for my little sports show that I got into our Specs Howard, I still wasn't thinking about no music, really. But, you know what I'm saying, that part where, like, man, messing with you in this music, I appreciate just everything that you've been doing, my brother. Playing my little music and everything. I ain't no musician, but he still play my shit. True. Right. True, he man. still play my shit, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, like shit. I appreciate it. Like they say, man, you got to give our legends and everybody the flowers while they still here, man. That's, the, I that's what I was wrong. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. one show, I got a trophy for what I do. I came out with a trophy for Mo, too. You know what I'm saying? Like, you deserve right. it, man. You don't put Just in so much work out here. Yeah, right. ain't, no cap, man. No cap. Right. That's real shit. Like, man, that's not even being taken for granted, man. It's just real shit. Like, you know, I mean, like I say, me personally, Mo know what it is. Like, uh, man, look, I just like having fun with this shit, and I like trying helping out wherever that's I can it, help man. out. That's it. If it's, like you say, like with the travel and everything we do, man, I'd be like, these things just on, like, come on, let's do it then. Fuck it. Let's make it yeah. happen. Have some fun yeah. while you at. Got to make it happen, man. And I'm at a point, it'd be no excuses, too. Like, we yeah, took that trip to Tennessee. At, like, we went to Tennessee. Like, I ain't have a whole bunch of money. We was struggling like a motherfucker on that trip. And I appreciate both of y'all niggas with shit. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes, you know what I'm saying? We look out for each other. That's what fam do, man. But a lot of niggas be making so many excuses. Like, the excuses ain't even called for, man. You know what I'm no, saying? We can make, make it happen. happen. Make yeah, it happen. where there's a will, there's a way. You feel me? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, that's what I'm on, man. I, I love doing this music. It's the love for it. Whether I get paid for it, I don't get paid for it. I'm not bitching about myself. You know what I'm saying? Right. You pay, I pay my I'm own way. Yeah. I'm gonna be there and I'm gonna show up. 
Yeah, I paid my way, and that part was like, you know, I mean, like you say, like, get paid for it or not, I mean, yeah, everybody want money. You damn right. Everybody. Everybody wants money. You yeah. damn right. But it's like, that's not my main, man, I love doing this shit. I love having fun with it. I love yeah. the fact of, I didn't even know you at all until dealing with this music. You know what I'm saying? Shit yeah. like that. You know what I'm saying? And I mean, you're a good ass dude, and I appreciate knowing. Yeah, salute. My man Seagull, he good people. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. you know, it's like, like, I was asking you about the people you met in the, in, you know what I'm saying, since. Like, hey, man, I done met a couple folk that, like, you know. Everybody, good. man. Shit. I, mean, I mean, I ain't got no problems with nobody. I mean, shit. I mean, nobody. You know, yeah, like it's I like, said, even, even though one might have problems with the next, but. I don't get in the middle with that, man, because that's their issue. I'm a grown and man. Even man, with man. that said, I really honestly believe I have no problem with nobody either, man. But even when you got so friends, let's call it friends, so called fam, because yeah. it turns into a network of family. Yeah. You know, when you got people that got issue with each other, it's somehow, some way, man, it got to be somebody that kind of almost steps in and neutralize some of that stuff gotta and be. try to help. You know, Got throw water do. on that shit and dump, douse it down. You know, like that's at the end of the day, y'all still partners, still friends, still homies. Yeah, still fuck with each other. True. Still should you True. know what I'm saying? That part. Mm-hmm. And my yeah, take on that know, is, man, hey, it's only human to get upset at each other. Yeah. Yeah, my take on that is like I'm so real, man. It's like once you get into it with me, that that's it. Like that's the that's the straw. Like you know what I'm saying? I'm from the streets. I got kids. You know, because you know how like some people can disagree, right? Yeah. And getting into it with somebody, yeah, that's a whole totally different thing where they disrespect that disrespect shit go to flag. That's different. Yeah. Yeah. True. Keep the disrespect and the debates how they is, man. Because, you know, you're allowed to disagree with a motherfucker because, I mean, shit, like, if you agree with everything, something kind of wrong. But then if you disagree yeah. with every goddamn thing, something wrong with your negative energy ass, too. <laughs> man, it's you like that, it's man. A balance. <laughs> you got to have a hey, balance. Man, this music, some, this music shit right here in Detroit, man, it's just something so different, man. And I just try to roll with the punches and make the best of it. That's why I say I just want to venture off in so many different different parts of the music. It ain't just got to be rap. You know what I'm saying? Rap, singing. You know, I don't did, even go back, even by me being a street rapper, I still, right. I don't did a few shows at the churches. You know what I'm saying? Right. And, uh, hair shows and stuff like that. Some right. that might be out of my league, but I ain't going to let it cap me or have a limit in this music because either way it goes, I show up and they see me. Right. And they hear the name, you know what I'm saying? That's another exactly. fan or two that I'm picking up. That's your brand, baby. That's, that's your, your brand. brand. That's that's the yeah. money maker. And the problem yeah. is that a lot of people have it, you know, not having their music right and ready. You got to be right and ready. Like I say, by me doing events at churches and schools and stuff like that, of course, you know, family events. It got to be uncut. Right. You got to be versatile, though. Why only have one style of music in the sense of all of it is cutthroat gangster music? Like, and, 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 hey, and that right there don't make no sense. For the people that debate against that, it just make no sense. Because if you're not ready to do uh, a family-friendly song, how do yeah. you expect to get music played on the radio? Yeah. yeah. See, and that, and that, yeah, facts. Yeah. Like, you ain't ready then. If every one of your songs got cussing in it, you're not ready. I'm just right. saying like that. Then that's another thing. I ain't gonna get to speaking on the vocabulary, but it's just the words you use. I call it wordplay. You know what I'm saying? Some of uh, a few hot tracks that I got that I like that I consider as my bangers, I might go back and listen to them and be like, "Hey, damn, you know what? I ain't it's even cussing this song." Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you know, I'm back. That, that's called you just editing your shit, man, making it better, perfecting it, you know. Yeah. And it ain't even about editing it, man. It's just about being ready, you know. You ain't it's always got to be. Gates, I ain't right? never really been no disrespectful artist, you feel me? Uh-huh. But I'm from the streets, though, so it's all about wordplay. Exactly, and experience, right? You speaking about your experience and your wordplay is like telling mm-hmm. the story like you wanted to heard, right? Hey yo, I want to give a shout out to the boy Flaming Lace. He said, "What up, Rello, Rello?" 
Give a shout out to your boy, uh, what up, bro, bro? Uh, Young in, in the spot. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my mom. She was tuned in. And, uh, okay. Boy, motion, motion tuned in. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Uh, motion, man. We gotta drop that track. Motion. We gotta, we gotta fire track with him too, man. I got a lot of songs that ain't been released. A lot of collabs that ain't been released, man. We working this year. We gotta push all this material up. I'm ready to throw it in their face, man. Like I say, another exclusive. Like, I got a hustle coming out, too, man. Y'all be ready for that. You know what I'm saying? Some ballroom hustle type shit. Some shit they ain't ready for, you know? Sure, man. Hey, man, I got two left feet, so I might have to just stand back with the camera. <laughs> I'm going to make it easy. I'm going to make it simple for you, man. Hey, man, I, might have to with I love this platform shit right here. This is dope ass shit, man. I thank you, Rello, for uh, yeah. you know what I'm saying, being, being our second guest, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, you know, and everything that you do and everything you're gonna do, man. I definitely salute you, man. Keep up that keep up that good work ethic, man. Let's go, man. All day. Yeah. Salute to you back, bro. Yeah, you got any shout outs when we get out of here? Shout out, man. Uh, you know, I got to shout out the whole band, man. I got to shout out Sound 2 Nation, man. The best in the world, the best at his own motherfucking station, Sound 2 Nation, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? Hey. Shout out to my wolves, man. Alpha Wolf, you know what I'm saying? Alpha Wolf forever, man. The whole label, man. The whole team. Anybody that comes to rocking with Alpha Wolf, man, shout out and salute, you know what I'm saying? I got to shout out, man. Shit, everybody that's down, man, they've been rocking with me from the beginning, man, how I've been doing this shit. You know what I'm saying? Die better gangster, you know. Shout out to everybody that's bringing that fire on the beat, you know what I'm saying? And my main producer, you know what I'm saying? Flame. I'm rocking on some Flame beat. Shout out to Flame. Shout out to Young Problem. I got some Young Problem beat, you know what I'm saying? D Night Exclusive. Cool. You got some, you got you know some Young Problem beats? Huh? So you got some Young Problem beats? Yeah, man. I've been rocking with Young Problem. I've been rocking with Problem since I was out in Vegas, man. Okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? That's what's up. Well, shit, man. You know what I'm saying? We about to get ready to end this, man. You know what I'm saying? Get live with the boy Cetarello, man. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. Shout out to TPB, too. You know what I'm saying? Got it. 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 I appreciate the uh, exposure and the time, Mo. You know what I'm saying? You my fans. We're going to make this shit happen. Rello, hey. you know what it is. We all, hey, we're going to bang my right. fist the wheels fall off. For sure. Shout out get to it, man. And get a time to actually just, you know what I'm saying, listen to us. And, yeah. You know, tune in. Don't just listen shout to out us. To everybody that, shout out to everybody that's staying home and staying safe, man. We got to dodge this shit, man. We really got to fight it. That's why I've been in the house, man. Like I say, I've been fucking with a music group. A little bit, but I'm trying to stay out the way, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man, so, man. Stop, stop the bridge and be safe out here, man. Yes, sir. For sure, man. Okay. For everybody that's tuned in, man, y'all been tuned in to Sound Two Nation Radio Podcast with the boy Mo Divine, the boy TTB. You know Tommy Tom, uh, Special guest set of Rello. Rello, Show Rello. Stoppers, MVP. You know Hello. What one, one more shout out. Hey, one more up. shout out. One more shout out, bro. I got I got a shout out to D Spot, man. I, I got a shout out to D Spot. You know what I'm saying? D D Spot Rock. You know what I'm saying? Hug got me together. I'm about to put some orders in. I got some people. I got some people out of town that want some shit too. So that's how we're doing it, y'all. Rell up, rell up. Let me get the back of that. You know what I'm saying? Detroit period. You feel me? Detroit period, yeah. baby. Yeah. Hey, nigga, you just took me back when we was down at the fashion show. Fresh as fuck on stage, killing it. Trying to kill you, man. Trying to kill you, bro. Hey, right, whenever y'all ready, man. Brella, number one, she is showstopper. I'm coming for heavy hitters. So whoever gonna show up, turn up, man. Be ready, man. I got some heat drop. Hey, right, before man. we go, before we go, I got to give a shout out to you one more time. Because you was the only nigga gave me a trophy. You know what I'm saying? Well, I'm giving out trophies. That nigga Rello showed up and gave me a trophy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So shout out to you, my nigga. You know? Support, man. Yeah. Support. You yeah. deserve it too, man. You deserve it. You know what I'm saying? All the work you put in and dedication too. You know what I'm saying? Hey, that's love, though. For that's sure love. it is. For sure. Yeah. Hey, yo. We about to get up out of here, man. This been real, man. Got my dog, my brother, Cinderella. Got him out the way. You know what I'm saying? Well, 
Hey, TTB, I think we got us some, my nigga. <laughs> hey, let's make it happen, baby. You know what I'm saying? You the man. You the motherfucking driver of the machine. Even hey. though I'm out of shit, move my ass around all day, every day. Hey, man. Another thing before I get out of here, man. Hey, that hour wasn't enough, man. That hour, next time I might need a two hour block on Wolf and Rello shit, you know what I'm saying? That wasn't enough, because me and the Wolves got so much music. We might need a half a hey. day, bro. I'm hey, out here. Bro, that, nigga, that nigga, that nigga, that nigga, that nigga, that nigga uh, work sent me so much music that day, I couldn't play it all, dog. So I already know. Too. I already know. Yeah. <laughs> and that was the first time I heard Climax. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's been fire. That's so, fire, yeah, man. We about to get up out of here, man. I'm the boy Mo Devine. Got a Rello. 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 And we got the boy TT. Yeah, yeah. And uh, you've been tuning in to Sound Tube Nation Radio Podcast. Until next time, y'all. Peace. Peace. Salute.